Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with Tizish.com. On this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily embed audio on your website like I have done, uh, like I do on the Tizish site, let's say like here. You see this section here? To listen to audio, click on the MP3 icon. So you click on that and then the audio comes up. Basically, I'm going to show you how to do this on your own site, alright? Now, before I show you the steps, here's the first thing you need to do. Sign up for an account at Dropbox.com. So what you want to do is go to Dropbox, the way you see it spelled here, .com. So Dropbox.com. And then once this page comes up, click on Login up here at the top. And then click on Create an Account. Now I'm going to quickly fill this out and then create an account and we'll go from there. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and create the account. Now it's going to say your Dropbox should begin downloading. You will get a download box that, does, that just does exactly this. So go ahead and do all those items. Okay, so now after you've done these items, I'm, I'm not going to show you the tutorials for, for downloading and setting this up on your website right now. Okay, so your audio may have just now skipped, but anyhow, here's the main point. Um, I'm not going to show the, the, uh, the installation steps for installing this on everyone's computer because everyone's computers may be different, and that's really a headache because um, it, I'm not really sure how that will work. But basically understand all, when you download and install Dropbox on your computer, um, I'll explain what that is shortly, but from here, let's just do the following. Let's just go back to home, all right? So now here in back to home, you'll have a section. Your home will probably open up just like this, and it'll ask you to do all these items. You don't have to do these items if you don't want, but just coming back to that point, installing Dropbox on your computer, what that does is it creates a folder on your computer that is going to be automatically synced with your account here. It's really easy to set up. Just download that system, as it said, and follow their steps there. And all it does is create a folder. So basically, when I click on files, I'm, I'm going to be here in a section that has, it's called Dropbox, and it has all my folders and files. Well, that, that item you downloaded on your computer is basically a quick desktop version way to get to this same folder here without having to log in and do all those items. So definitely do that. It's worth the effort. But basically, now back to the point. We're talking about putting, how to put audio on your website here. Well, here's the first thing we need to do. Now that we've set up Dropbox as you have it here, we need to now first upload an audio so that way it's a clickable MP3 link. And here's what I mean by that. Go to back to Dropbox. And then uh, we, what you want to do is go to upload. And what we want to do is upload the MP3 file that you have. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click on upload. And I'm going to go ahead and choose a file. And let's go ahead and find it. Okay, so I found my file, basically wherever, wherever you have yours on your computer, go ahead and find it. And after that, click on Start Upload. Now, once your file is done uploading, you'll see it here. It'll say Uploaded 101 Files, and you'll see the file here. All right, here's what you want to do. You want to put this file into your public folder. All right, so one thing that you should have actually done properly from the beginning was the following. Um, let's just first click on this, and then see where it says Move. Click on Move and then put it into your public folder here. So move file into public. So now we move, the fi we move the file. So now when I click on public, this is the crucial part. Now here in the public folder, see public, I'm in the public folder. Click on this right drop down and get copy public link. And now this is going to give you a full HTML link for this MP3. All you want to do is click on copy to clipboard. It's going to say copy. And now let's go into our posting panel. So here I am. In, inside the WordPress posting panel and all you're gonna do is go to add new post this new post page is gonna load up and once this new page loads up here's what we want to do it's pretty simple from here it's really uh, automatic now the rest is your system handling it so now in this page we're gonna just do a test post so we'll do test post for audio and now I'm gonna enter a bunch of text so here's my text let's just do one text I'm just gonna keep it simple and now this, now comes the actual part with your mp3 so here's what you want to do. You want to paste that code that you got from Dropbox. So here's the code that we copied. We're going to paste it here. But now we're going to highlight the link and we're going to click on the link button and we're going to click on paste again. All right. Now we're going to insert it. So now the whole point is we're making that URL a clickable link. All right. Now at this point we could hit publish our post. 
and we're gonna see now after having the link clickable like that your system will automatically convert it into this kind of icon into this kind of like play button and icon alright so now we have our done let's go to we have our link done let's go to view post And now when we view the post, you see the link here? When I click on it, what's going to happen is the play button appears. And when you click on play, that'll play the MP3 that you had uploaded to your Dropbox. All right. Now one thing I want to show you. You notice how the link I showed you at first have having the whole link be the test? Well, instead, here's what I recommend. Under edit post, do this instead. When you enter your, when you enter your link, just do this. Make the text itself. Make a te some kind of title that says, you know, press... Press, uh, click here to listen to audio or something. Click here to listen to audio. And then make this text, highlight this text, and make this the link from Dropbox. So again, we're going to just make sure this is copied. And, we're, and instead, we're going to make the link for that text be the, tech, the link. So now click here to listen to audio when I update this page. And then when I view it, once it's done updating, at least the link will look something that, like that's clean and gives a command versus just being like a weird looking mp3 link. So now it's done, I click on view post and once this comes up you'll see exactly what I mean. You see right here now it says click here to listen to audio so when I click on it that opens up the audio. That's preferable than having it be this long link. All right. So that's pretty much everything for adding audio to your site. All right. If you have any questions go to facebook.com forward slash tizish the way you see tizish spelled here and ask me there. All right. Well good luck and take care.